Hey, Eric Worrell here, and I'm doing a review of Clean My Mac X, and I want to show you what the product looks like when you run through it, and also a couple little things that you can use as an easy access for you. So I've already done a review video that I'm going to get to in here in a little bit, but one of the things I wanted to show you that I didn't cover is you have a drop-down menu option up here in the upper right-hand corner. So this is kind of cool because you can have this running, and this is going to give you a kind of a status overview of your Mac. So I have just cleaned up over 200 gigs of uh, storage on my computer. Um, I was at about 20. I've got now about 284 available. Um, but you can see a couple other options real quick. You can see where your trash can is at, what's using the majority of your battery right now, which is the two programs I'm running, which is ScreenFlow, which is how I'm recording this video, and also Clean My Mac. And if you have any CPU uh, items, uh, well, heavy process. So uh, I want to show you what that looks like because a lot of people don't realize that when you use things like Google Chrome, which I'm going to open right now, so this is kind of interesting because you can look at how much of your um, processor is being used, right? So 23% load on this, 24%. What you can hear in the background now is a YouTube video playing. Uh, actually, I could probably bring this over and show you. So I'm going to close out of Chrome and I want to show you how this works. Uh, because Chrome with the YouTube video running, it uses up a lot of power on your computer. So we're at a 22% load. I'm going to quit Chrome. And now let's see what happens. You can see it's going down to 17%, 13%, maybe a little bit lower. Is it going to kind of bottom out at 13%? But just like that, you can see that I, I have freed up a lot of processing power on my computer. So it's kind of interesting to be able to easily see what's happening on your computer in live time with that. So this is going to be something I'm going to keep up here. So this will give you a little snapshot of how much is free in your Dropbox. So if you're somebody who uses Dropbox a lot and you're trying to share files and things like that, I have that kind of set up now as well. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can test your internet speed. I'm on a fiber uh, network right now, which actually that's not great for file speed, 5.8 down. Um, but that's uh, good for playing games, kind of gives you a little you know, rundown there. Uh, I'm curious to see how well that uh, lines up with a Google test uh, or an internet test here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty close to what I'm getting here. I mean, I've got a 50 meg download for fiber, so I should be uh, doing a lot better than that. So I may want to reset my router. Uh, sometimes doing that for your um, router can help for that. You can see my upload speed is great at like 62, but for some reason my download speed is a little slow. So there's just a lot of functionality built into um, Clean My Mac uh, just off of this drop down menu up here. So I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that um, so you know what's going on there. And then, you know, if you have any preferences that you want to set up with this, uh, you can always do that through here. I'm going to take Dropbox off of there because I'm just not interested in seeing that. And now you can see that if I go to the drop down menu here, the Dropbox uh, one has been taken off. So uh, that's a pretty cool feature that's always available to you as you're working through and cleaning up your computer. If you ever need to do like kind of a system overview, that drop down up here is a great way to do that. If you're interested in seeing what the Clean My Mac 3 program, a previous version, looks like, um, I'll have in the description a video of a review video I did on that. Uh, but uh, this version, Clean My Mac X, has some new features. Uh, at a quick glance, you can see some of them, such as malware removal, and uh, it actually allows you to check for updates on different apps and systems that you're using on your Mac. So when you get to the main screen, I'm going to click Scan. I'm not expecting to see much right now because I actually just ran a scan recently. On the last one I did, I had five gigs of freed up junk to clean up, but you can see that I did get a little bit of a boost already and that was pretty quick. So I'm gonna click run now and I'm gonna quit all applications as it's suggesting there. Uh, last time I tried to actually do this, um, I had uh, the program uh, crash on me, not this program, but ScreenFlow, which I'm using to record um, what's going on right now uh, because my Mac just gets filled up and too many uh, items on it. And I'm not somebody who's great at cleaning up my desktop, cleaning up all the recent downloads, all those things. So a system like this makes it pretty easy to do that. So uh, well done, your Mac is in great shape. 1.8 uh, gigabytes of unneeded junk remove. 
uh, three tasks performance topped out all right so let's go down the cleanup here now so we have system junk we can do a scan here scan completed found uh you know seven megs of junk i'm gonna clean that out user cache file system logs all right uh again i gotta quit chrome because chrome keeps on opening up for me <laughs> okay all right so photo junk let's see what we have this does seem a lot faster than the clean my mac 3. that's clean itunes junk definitely faster we found a few items you might want to review and clean uh, i want to see the review details because it says i got 46 gigs in itunes so eric world's iphone um, is accounting for those 46 gigs so that's telling me I got a backup. If I got cloud storage right there um, for a computer with 500 gigs, I'm using about 10% of my memory just backing up my iPhone. So I uh, definitely want to look into that. Um, trash bins, obviously that's an easy one. Um, you can see if your trash is in. Looking at malware removal. Let's see if we got any kind of uh, thing there. We're clean, all right. Privacy, I'm not even sure what that means. Instantly remove your browsing history along with traces of your online and offline activity. I mean, if you're trying to hide something, that might be nice, but I don't like clearing my browsing history a lot of times because I like to be able to go to recent sites that I've checked out. So let's look at speed optimization and view all 26 items. Oh, this is pretty nice because this Garmin program that I have, I ride a bike, I use a Garmin app for it. It launches every single freaking time I load it, and I swear I've tried to get it to stop doing that. So I'm gonna click perform and see what that does. So it's cleanup complete, and now you have 41 gigabytes free on your startup disk. So let's move further down to maintenance. Let's try it so out. Some people get RAM and memory kind of confused. RAM is the processing power for your computer, so it allows your computer to do different tasks. Uh, your memory is just how much storage you have. So one task completed, your Mac should now run smoother. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go back to maintenance here. Um, start over. I'm going to run a run maintenance script and flush DNS cache. This is definitely a lot faster than before. So it says up in the upper right hand corner, don't hold back, give your Mac more. All right, why not? It says I have 260 gigabytes of old stuff. So I don't know how it deems what old stuff is, but you can see for me, the, um, the main thing is, uh, is because it sorts it by size, or I have Final Cut Pro um, videos. So I do know that some of these things I can delete. So <laughs> this is kind of crazy because I have 500 gigs of storage on this computer and I'm pretty much eating up like a third of that with just these four files. Um, and I know that I can get rid of those because I um, have completed those videos. I'm not going to need to go back. Actually, this one I might keep for now. Uh, but all right, let's uh, remove. While that's going and cleaning out those old files, I'll show you if you ever need to check this manually, you can just go to your Apple menu about this Mac and go to storage. So this is where you can kind of see where your computer's doing or how it's doing. Uh, if you get down to about 10%, which I was running at before, um, that's gonna create a problem on your computer. So I just wanted to show you that real quick if you wanna check that manually. All right, uninstalled apps, uh, or uninstalled unneeded apps. Let's see what we have. Uh, Wacom tablet, I use it a little bit. Um, it is. It does look to be one of the uh, largest apps that's taken up space, but I don't know, it's in megs and it's not in gigs, so I'm not super concerned. Uh, why don't we sort by size and see what we have here? Kindle Previewer 3, that was for an ebook that I was doing <laughs> a long time ago. I don't use Slack anymore. Um, uh, OBS, I don't use. Audacity, I haven't been using. This is pretty nice. Um, Android File Transfer, I don't have an Android. Um, why don't we remove those for now? So, just looking at that, I can see I've got a gig. 268 all right uninstall and again this isn't a program that's for like 
you're a crazy, you know, computer savvy person. It's for somebody like me who just wants an easy program to be able to go through and do things and be able to identify points uh, where my computer needs to be cleaned up. So clean up complete. All right, let's see what else we got. You've done a great job. Enjoy your maintained Mac and come back soon for more. Awesome. So uh, looking at large old files, you can see that clean up. What's the shredder? Easy and unwanted files or folders quickly and without leaving a trace. So again, I don't really have anything like that on my computer, but if you do, that might be kind of helpful. All right, so I'm going to um, go to About This Mac. And originally when I started doing this, I had about 20 gigs, 20 to 30 gigs of free space um, in my storage. And now you can see that I have about 248 gigs available of 500. Um, that's awesome because in a matter of minutes, um, I was able to identify uh, some programs that I'm not using anymore, uh, some large files that I'm not using. I think my son is just about waking up here. Uh, I just heard a little squeal out of him early in the morning here. Um, but uh, this program, super easy to use. Uh, you know, the Clean My Mac 3 worked well for me, but I've noticed that the main difference between Clean My Mac X and 3 is this works a lot faster, uh, kind of a lot easier too, as far as just kind of bringing you down the system, doing a smart scan, and then make sure you click the upper right hand corner uh, to see if there's anything else. But you know, a few minutes of your time. And if you're not computer savvy like myself, uh, you can check this out and see how it works for you. So I appreciate you using my affiliate link in the description below. And you can uh, also check out my review video on Clean My Mac 3, but I can't imagine why you'd want the older version if you have the newer version available to you. So uh, really clean, you can just work down the side list here, make sure your computer's in peak running shape. Uh, make sure you don't have any malware issues. You don't have any apps that are taking up space that you're not currently using. And if you need it for any kind of like shredding or kind of privacy related uh, things too, you can do that as well. So uh, yeah, thanks again for using my link uh, and I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.